hi everyone in this new video i am going to describe how a girl's hat is knit with crochet yarn i use a star stitch pattern and i am going to make this hat for one year old little girl so this is the hat I am going to make so as the beginning cotton yarn I make a slip knot and three chains four five after making five chains I make it as a circle like this and then fill the circle two chains the circle is filled with double crochets so two double crochets now three double crochets four four double crochet five another double crochet six And I made 13 double crochets in the first round and now second round two double crochet in this round to every chain to every we have chain. insert two double crochets each to make a proper circle out of the first circle we made so into the every hole we are inserting two double crochets each one double crochet another double crochet to the same hole Third round, two chain, three chains, and a double crochet to the next chain. Again, a double crochet to the next one. Double crochet to the next hole, and. Double crochet to the fourth hole and we insert another double crochet to the fourth chain of the round. So a double crochet again a double crochet. So in this round we insert two double crochets to every fourth chain of the circle. So this is the circle we made with three rounds. It should have 25 double crochets at the end of the third row.
Now I'm going to change the color. I'm going to do this with green and white. So in the fourth round, the green yarn is joined. And here we are going to start the star stitch design. Three chains and leave one chain on the hook, another chain on the second one, another chain again at the beginning, another chain, four chains. We insert another two chains from the next two double crochets like this. Now we have six chains on the hook and we join all the six chains at the same time. A chain and as we have to expand the circle yarn over and from the hole we have three chains four and five and another chain from one of the new double crochets all together six chains at once again yarn over to the first hole so we have three chains and four five and six together every fourth star we call this a star every fourth star I make as a normal star that means four chains from the petal and two new chains from no from two new double crochets so make the star again yarn over Every fourth star of this row, I made a normal star. All the other ones, I put the yarn over to expand the row.
end of the first green row and two chains and insert two half double crochets for the whole of every little star we made before two double crochet two half double crochets to every hole of the beginning of the star we made here hole half double crochet two half double crochets into the same hole again yarn over two double crochets and in this round because we are still expanding our row where we have to now a bit more expanded the next row we can add we can insert three half double crochets time by time there yeah, after four pairs I may I insert three double three half double crochets to one hole then again two half double crochets again two to that one this is the end of the first set of stars in the green color so that we can expand our circle into every third or fourth one we can insert three half double crochets instead of two half double crochets so our round will be a bit expanded end of the first set of stars now we change the color We change the color to white again and then we start a row of white stars. We make the stars as we did before, three chains, one on the hook, two chains on the hook, three and four next one five next half double crochet six chains and we join all together make a hole into the hole two chains three chains And four, five, and six. So every time two new double crochets are made into chains.
in this round also as we still have to expand the row every third or fourth one you can take the yarn over first and make six chains so that it expands the circle a bit more than before so all the other times we make normal stars and if we third or fourth as you want to expand the size you can take yarn over so that you can reduce one double crochet forehead end of the first white stars row so we join two chains and again half double crochets to each hole of the little stars of the previous row half double crochets into the hole of the previous row if you want to expand the size you can still insert three half double crochets into one of the holes regularly if you have got enough size we can include only two half double crochets and we can complete that rows of stars See, I included three half double crochets and then two each again. Two, two half double crochets. end of that row now we have finished two rows of stars one green row of stars and one white row of stars now we have we have expanded our circle enough so again we 
we go to green color again join the green yarn we start a row of green stars again three chains one on the hook and we go as we did before three chains four five and six and we make normal stars we don't take yarn over first so four chains from the star and two new chains from two of half double crochets of the previous row and make it the star okay to the whole yarn over three four and two new chains one point now I have finished four rows of green star stars rows four rows of green and four rows of white stars after the second green stars I stopped expanding the circle so from second white stars I made it bit contracted so we have to reduce few double crochets from the third fourth stars or third row and the fourth row I have reduced two or three double crochets so that it takes the shape of a cap and again I am going to join the green color one and we make three double crochet pairs as we did before with the white line in the white two lines previously the first white line is half double crochets and the second three pairs I made double crochets and now with the green I make another row of three pairs of double crochets three pair double crochets into the each gap between the white pairs of double crochets In this round, 
I start making a pin around the circle. So we have to increase the number of double crochets we insert into one double crochet of the previous row. So how I did? I did one double crochet and then to the next one two double crochets to the next one three double crochets three double crochets three into the same hole and again to the next one one double crochet and two double crochets three into the next one When it comes to the middle of the cap, the number of frills or the frills should be expanded a bit more than the beginning. So I inserted three double crochets, more three double crochets into the same hole than the beginning. So there I did not follow one double crochet, two double crochet and three double crochet pattern. Here in the middle area of the cap, I inserted mostly two double crochet pairs and three double crochet pairs so that the frills in the forehead area of the cap are more than the frills of the behind of the cap. So more three double crochet pairs and two double crochet pairs instead of one double crochets into one hole here in the middle of the cap i am inserting all two double crochet pairs and three double crochet pairs so there are more frills in the front area of the cap than the behind of the so behind I inserted a bit less frills. In front or the forehead area contains more frills than the behind area. So if you want you can insert same amount of frills all over the cap. But how uh, I did more in the front area less frills in the behind area. Again in the last part of the frill row, at the, we are coming to the beginning. So I have reduced 
the number of wheels then I inserted into the front area of the cap so again I followed the pattern three double crochets into one two double crochets into one and one double crochet pattern As the last row, I again go through a small line with half double crochets to the prill we made in the previous line. Half double crochets. Into each hole. Half double crochet to each one. Time by time, I inserted two half double crochets into the same hole so that the prill is expanded further a bit. But most of the time, I inserted half double crochet, one half double crochet to one chain time by time like every fourth or fifth there's no regular pattern for that to expand this row a bit more than the previous row I inserted two half double crochets into the same chain like every fourth or fifth time we pass through. So that's how I finished the little girl's cap. This girl's cap will be fit enough for a girl of about six months The cap we have made finally with the star stitch with uh, white and green yarn.
so these are the two caps finally for six months old girl and a one year old girl please enjoy the video and please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks a lot